Hello and welcome to Wyverns and Weirdos, a D&D podcast. Uh, so, uh, before we get started jumping in, does anyone have any announcements? It's kind of weird trying to work out where things will be <laughs> in, in what, August Here when this goes future. out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, as usual, just find me on at eCareens. I tweet about things. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, find me here in this very room uh, to all those that are in this very room. Hey, guys. My name's Jack. <laughs> He's not on anything, but um, maybe he will be. I feel in August. We can just dub over it. <laughs> it's a challenge, though. If you want, if you want to, if you want to find, if you want to see me, you have to find me. If you want to, if you want to see me online, you have to find me. <laughs> all right. I'm done. Excellent. Um, yeah, and of course, um, as always, uh, Bertie's Elixir, highly recommend my <laughs> sister, one call away. Or if you just want to talk to me about it and um, not ask any shady questions or the rumours of um, uh, fevers and um, <laughs> head pains that have resulted from it, um, I'm um, Radar Eant on um, Instagram or on Twitter. So talk to me there. I might Bertie might give you a shout out if you... Oh, nice to me. Um, hey, yeah. I take want to know how I found out about Bertie's Elixir. Oh yeah. yeah I yeah. was just I was just on this website <laughs> and, I got, and a pop up came up. It's like doctors <laughs> hate Bertie <laughs> <laughs> for, for these top simple reasons. <laughs> Bertie Elixir should be banned in all <laughs> countries because it's too good. <laughs> Look, I, I I can't disagree with that. It's um I, it's pretty controversial. It's going to put people out of business. I can tell you that now. I shouldn't be surprised, but Jake's practically practically our Sam Regal with all these <laughs> weird spiels that he has. No, it's real. Did it's totally me, real. Uh, Sam Spiegel. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, and I, I as always, yeah, just Darby Quinlan on the Twitter is where I'm most active. Even though I'm even not all yeah, that active, there. maybe hey, I am by know. August. Yeah, August. I, I'm I'm going to be trying. Especially hey, maybe with the we should get a weirdos and wyverns. Yeah, yeah. Weirdo. We'll hopefully have a weirdos yes. and wyverns Twitter. It, it by might now. already exist. Yes, it guys. Probably does. Ugh. It'll pro- once it exists, it will be. Just find it. Just yeah. find it. You'll you'll Somewhere. find it. We'll, Just we'll, look and you'll find we'll it. We'll make Darby dub it in before this. Actually, of every you know episode. the best way to find it. Follow me on Twitter because <laughs> yeah. I'll probably be retweeting it all. All right, so without further ado, let's jump in to a new episode of Wyverns and Weirdos. And we're back. So, where we last left off, the party had a day of downtime in the city. Um, they did a variety of things. Um, uh, <laughs> some, some of them, some of them, uh, namely Newman, spent a day basically having their ear chewed off by <laughs> a by a um, old dragonborn alchemist. I drank uh, so much tea that I paid for. I think we worked out it was like three minutes. Right? I thought it was ten minutes. <laughs> I don't Which know. can't be the helping. The final thing is <laughs> quite terrifying. I think you did drink eight litres per second of tea. Oh, <laughs> I'm just picturing what you drinking would have been oh. like too because you're a cat so you're Little like cat laughing. it up out of the saucer. Like I guess I'm, that would I'm, be normal. I'm imagining like something that's like halfway between lapping and traditional tea drinking. So like... Yeah. Like technically, the dragon would have been doing similar too. I guess if they've yeah, got like the little tongues. That's yeah, the cutest that's thing I've really ever cute. thought of please, in my brain. Please noggin. draw this, otherwise I will. Please draw this, <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't want that. You do want that. Uh, Laura's actually the, the bomb.com at art. Oh, so it's it's a 
You'll have hopefully seen by now the, uh, yeah, the little be some cool drawing she did of the... Uh, hopefully. First. I'm very excited to have shared, shared that one. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll have first a lot episode. more fan art. Like, well, from technically me. second episode. First yeah. session, second episode. Yeah, it's, yeah. Okay, but cover. is it really fan art if it's someone from S- the production company? Semi-canon art, technically, mm. I guess. They, but I mean, like... My interpretation. <laughs> I'm a fan yeah. of your characters. Yeah. So yeah, as, that's it. As much of a fan I am of pedantry. <laughs> We're getting off track. Oh uh, yes, yeah, sorry. You um, can cut that out if you like, Darby. Oh um, yeah. yes. Um but uh the party then visited a brothel. They think <laughs> We tried it's to solve a murder. Somehow attaching it to a murder. We tried to solve a murder. We were trying our best. And we were trying best. to um, in, 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 a, for in a lesson of <laughs> not all things the DM says are connected. Sometimes <laughs> it's just world building. Well, you know. <laughs> You say but that now, or, may, or maybe, maybe there might be completely different quest lines <laughs> <laughs> that you just conflated as the one. Who knows? Uh, yeah. We made a friend at least. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, to point in McCott face. <laughs> I don't think face. she considers herself friends with us. Well, well us she could friends. in, in uh, that situation. But probably the most insane thing to happen last session was Conrad had another vision. Oh, and upon oh, waking, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh that's uh, the old character. You'll have to edit oh. that. <laughs> Hang uh, on. Okay, retake. Probably the uh, most interesting thing to have happened overall was that Bertie had a strange vision and awoke with a tome by his bed. And Laura, you might want to show uh, Oh yeah, for our video viewers, Darby actually made made one, which is awesome. Yeah. I'll post a little picture on whatever social media thing in the the (laughs) year. But it's very cool and I love it. Not suspicious at all. Is yeah, it actual yeah, stuff or is it just a random book? Well, let us see. It is currently let us empty. see. <laughs> people that, yeah, people that, um, uh, you, you may not see anything, <laughs> but uh, if you have uh, certain connections, you may see something. <laughs> but yeah, that was excellent. And thanks for that scene last week, Darby. That was like really creepy. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> so thank you. All right. N- nothing to see here, folks. Great. <laughs> All right. So. It's probably mid early morning, because being an elf, you only sleep for four hours. Yep. Really weird. Interesting choice there, D&D guys. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So. I mean, technically don't even sleep trance. Oh, but, it's just... but you dream in said trance. Yeah, yeah. That was a cool dream. It's fun times. But he's like, su- like super shaken. Especially when he's got like a free book there that he didn't remember. Hmm. Not another one to add to the collection, I guess. Wait, we shared a room, didn't we? Yeah, we're all in the same room at this point, so that's fun. Would <laughs> Anya be up also? Yes. <laughs> what What would she have seen of any of that, if any? Um. Uh. I mean, it's Anya, so nothing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, but like, oh, would, wait, would her friends still be? <laughs> Yes. Oh no! <laughs> so she basically just hears like, okay, someone sitting up real fast and like, <laughs> yeah, but does she hear that? Is Hafrin on top of my shit again? <laughs> <laughs> no, Hafrin's asleep. He's a good, he's head. a good boy. Jeez, he's a good boy. He's never yeah. done anything wrong in his life ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you wouldn't have had anything because all the sound went down in. Bertie's head. No, yeah. but I mean of Bernie. I guess like Bernie, she Bertie question, waking up. <laughs> if she's awake, she might just hear Bernie sit up really fast and then be kind of like just looking around and then kind of grab something. Um, Good morning. And then he's like stand. He's probably standing at this point. I guess she'll get yeah. a good, good gesture. Good morning. Oh 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh sorry. is still sleeping. <laughs> as is happening. Oh yes, of course. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> Did you sleep up? Yes, yes, of course. It's having a great time. It's, yeah, everything's wonderful. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah, cannot complain. Is the, the raven uh, your, your, your friend, uh, your crow friend? Oh, oh, he's still still sleeping? Yes. Oh. Uh, you can probably, you can definitely see Bertie. <laughs> uh, her hair is um 
the top of it's sort of been pushed, like her braids <laughs> have been pushed aside. He's made a little makeshift sort of nest. And he's just <laughs> nesting in the top. Oh, bless really him. <laughs> That's uh, oh, I'm so I'm so glad, so glad. Oh, oh yes, I don't don't want to wake him. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you well? You you. Yes, I cannot complain. A good dreamless night is a good night. Well, indeed it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Dreams, who needs them? <laughs> uh, Are yeah. you going to breakfast? Yeah, yeah, I'll probably go to breakfast. I got a lot to do today. Do you <laughs> mind leading me down? 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> yes. We're awake. Absolutely. Yeah, like, I'm sure they're used to elves, Darby. Uh, the trick you roll me a perception check, please. <laughs> oh. And, uh, like, tavern perception check. <laughs> if, uh, 25. <laughs> You see everything. <laughs> uh, okay. Should I roll at disadvantage? Hafren's asleep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's better. Um, ten. <laughs> All right. Excellent. And Bertie? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, my, my passive perception whilst I'm asleep is asleep. zero. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be ten. Shocking. Um, I pass your perception whilst oh. I'm asleep. Well... <laughs> There's the possibility that a sound might wake you up. Eleven. All right. I All right. Doubt that's a... You don't want is... something to wake you up. That's for a you twenty-five know. for Bertie. Can um, technically, perception. as long as you engage in less than an hour, you can engage in combat during a long rest. Like Good can, to know. Why don't what are we like getting into? Why did you mention combat? Yeah, <laughs> Darby, please. What did, what did Put, you get? 25. <laughs> hey, the 25 crew. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. He's a very perceptive fella. I well could have gotten so, 25. Um, <laughs> can you please use the laser pointers to uh, indicate uh, which bed each of you took? Oh, I'm okay. assuming Birdie and I would probably be close together yeah. if we've still not that would, like, the That would logically make the most sense. So. Yeah, put, put Birdie, like, next to okay, My laser pointer's not working. Yeah. My tail wrapped around. Yeah. Me. <laughs> um, because yeah, I don't want like a chest or anything. Because All right. right. Yeah, that's fair. So, hmm. you notice. Hmm. We're getting framed for I'm, murder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say there's two oh. things with with a check that high, <laughs> Bertie. There are two things you notice. Okay. The first thing. I could have had this check. <laughs> fairly major. Um, it is four shadow-like figures. Um, oh, okay. Reaching over. Of bed. <laughs> so uh, I just had a little conversation like little shadow figures like they just want to just, Oh, hang on. They're just hanging of, out. <laughs> yeah. Um, rising up. Oh. The second thing. The second thing is Do I a, notice anything? <laughs> Uh, you do, you do. With a 10. Notice kind of a bit of shifting in shadow. Um, the, oh. the other thing you notice yeah. is that uh, oh. tattoo on your arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, it has changed. Oh. All right. You guys have to do everything in your power to do this without waking me up. Otherwise, <laughs> something I've, I, I have already done and prepared will not happen and I'll have to wreck. <laughs> I, I mean, you you can still wake up and engage in less than an hour of yes. combat. Yeah, okay, I guess so, yeah. And go back. It just says at the end of it. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, no, I, I take it. So, so. Oh, hold it on. It is not the end Our of Our video of... feed is frozen. Right, and see. we're back. Don't yep. know what happened. Something happened with the cam link. Yeah, surely Darby's put up a. Um, a picture of a cat that just says hang in there with like yeah. elevator music and it's new like technical def- difficulties so okay so uh everyone roll initiative uh i'll say even you human just for the I'll go for when you do get involved i'll use my sleeping <laughs> actually roll at a disadvantage to I'll use my sleeping. cover for sleep my quest okay no question uh, is that guy on my shit? If that guy is on my shit, I feel him. <laughs> where, my where would your sh- 
shit. I'd say at the end of my bed, but I can't really see. So he is, he is on the end of the bed side, so... If he touches my shit, he touches my tail. <laughs> Alright. No, nothing like a bit of combat after a completely non-combat session to get okay. back into it. So, 25 to 20. Got <laughs> <laughs> a perception 15 of 20. To 20. Uh, 15. 15. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a shadow. Is that Ten to fifteen. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, I was May I just point out? Yeah. I rolled it. Even went oh. up. Yeah, my initial rolls even worse. Okay. Uh, five to ten. Last well, initiative wins. Yeah. Seven. Five. <laughs> so may I just point out, I rolled a twenty-five in perception, but he's the slowest to react out of everyone, <laughs> which is like this, like me. So. You're you're reeling yeah. from like the change in your tactic. Yeah, that's true. Like uh, like yes, like Anya can't see this, but he just keeps me down. But Anya's also that's a scout, great. so she's quite like, actually that's for, something. Like, yeah, true. Your you AC magic. would be down because you wear mm, anyone oh, yeah. who wears armor. Oh, no. Your AC, which I think is all of you. Yeah, I wear leather. Nice. Yeah. So unless I wear it to bed. <laughs> oh, so Would you wear it to bed? What kind of? Uh, probably not <laughs> you all might. that bad in leather. It's, uh, it's more so in the medium and heavy that it gets. I think the thing with Anya is like it's a lot of hassle to have to do up and undo straps. Yeah. Completely. Yeah, when you yeah, can't see them. But I'd also, if you're like, nah, nah, then I'll just go without armor. But I also feel like she probably would sleep in her armor knowing yeah. her. That is, like, is, very in character for her. Yeah. Is, is Hafrin wearing his armor? <laughs> oh, I forgot, oh, I forgot that he has armor. <laughs> That's so blessed. Oh, I need to make sure. So much AC. Mini. Oh, yeah. Does Hafrin wake up? Uh, you'll see in a moment. Oh, no. Oh, I was just trying to work out, like, how much do I take off, but it's literally just one. So, we'll assume that Hafrin is basically perched at the head of your bed. Well, he was in her head, I think, yeah. Yeah. So, position-wise, that's about right. All right. So. Uh, da -da -da -da. Stupid question, Darby. So, how much would... My AC reduced by I have a chance. So your AC. I've got a chain shirt. What type of armor are you wearing? Chain shirt. Chain shirt. So yeah, you wouldn't be wearing like bed armor. No. <laughs> but that... he's like interested in the finer things in life, yeah. so he's not wearing armor. Yeah. He's not a practical boy. Um, so it would be ten plus your dexterity bonus. And no proficiency. That is not. No. Not just a bard thing. All right, that's that's, uh, a, that's It's fun. not even a bard thing. For AC. I think that was okay. a special. Okay. It's fine. Oh. oh, cool. Well, my AC. <laughs> yeah, so you don't sleep in your armor? Well, I'd imagine. Yeah. You're a kitty. Yeah. So you're only in leather though. Leather. Right? Not such. So it's only basically one less than it was. Although it's I'm just, no, I'm two just less than it was because you don't have your weapons drawn. Yes, yeah, so I'm just thinking because my sheet, I think it automatically gives me dual wielding space. Yes. I'm contemplating. Online. Because typically that'll be what it is. Um, uh, okay, so what's your dex bonus? It's plus four. Isn't plus it? So your so AC is 14. 14, and attacks against you have advantage because you oh, are unconscious. Oh. Yeah. Me melee attacks within five feet if you have advantage. So, um, I'm just going to number them based on their proximity to you guys and your initiative order. So, number one is the one by you. Number two is the one by Newman. Number three is the one by. Bertie and I didn't roll for Anup, who actually got quite good. Did Enough. she get higher than me? Uh, she got higher than anyone. Oh wow! Yay. Double check what her bonus she's do is. She's doing very well she's for us. Asleep. <laughs> yeah, she's asleep. She's asleep. Oh yeah, oh, she'd be at she disadvantage. <laughs> the same even higher. Yeah. <laughs> what? It was. It was a good girl, Tanup, and then a natural twenty. Oh wow! Uh, He's um, my gal. 
Yeah. I mean, she's doing well. She'll have to get wakened Good somehow girl. before she can yeah. join the fray. Well, um, I'm pretty sure but it's been it will actually quickly. adjust how I number the shadows too. So, so one is the one by Tanit now. Two is the one by Anya. Three is the one by Newman, and four is the one by Bert. So, yeah. All right. So, Tanit is asleep. Uh, the shadow by Tanip no. uh, is going to uh, <laughs> is going to make an attack against Tanip. That is that is a nineteen to hit, which definitely hits her. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so are we gonna die in this encounter? Yeah. Well. Nice knowing you guys. <laughs> Been I mean, real. Like... All things considered, unlikely. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, not a no. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seven. Uh, seven plus two, so nine points of damage. Oh. Um, that does wake her up, though. Good. Uh. <laughs> That is like, she's on, she's, that is more than half her hit points. Oh, okay, uh, that's not great. That's not uh, good. No, I need to just sell things not that for me. good if one of us dies. At least, if I die, I'd end the character. <laughs> I have way too many characters, I'm so sorry. You notice I'm very as impressed. Tanit wakes, she seems to have had some modicum of strength that out of her. Mm, no. Okay. Don't like that. I'm not a fan, Darby. <laughs> Just saying. All right. Uh. Then. What? Mm, I don't like the sound ah, of that either. I'm really not a fan. Does it really? All right. So next is Anya. Okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> uh, as like a free action, she's gonna shout out, "Wake up! <laughs> now we're under attack!" All right. Uh, I don't know what that accent is. Yeah. Uh, Newman, roll me a perception check. Oh, Newman. See if that wakes. Please. Um, perception. That's an eleven. <sighs> Uh, I, I was placed at <laughs> the DC at about 10, so oh, yeah. you're awake. Just you barely. are prone. You are a cat, so you know. Um, does Hafrin wake up? Uh, roll me a perception check for Hafrin. Ah. Nat 20! Yes! Hafrin is awake. Ah. Hafrin, that was a waste His of a nat 20. <laughs> All right. um, His friend is in peril. So and then say. for her action... It uh, would be considered at the end of the turn, though, that they wake. So Yeah, yeah, that's so fine. No She'd still be at... Disadvantage for would she be a disadvantage for attacks because he's asleep? No, uh, I'll say I'll say the way we'll rule it is that you you've got Hafrin up, but Hafrin's too groggy. To but Hafrin wouldn't it, be able to, to do turn, the action. But you can so. sit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hafrin can't act this turn, but is awake enough to give you yeah. that modicum of sight. Okay, um, so she's going to. It is dark in here, so so you will Get be attacking vision. at this, uh, which, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. I think most of us have dark. I think it's still treated as dim light, though, so that's because it's, yeah. Um, yeah, no problem. Not. Um, yeah, and just thinking how I tend to rule it. Yeah, so she's gonna reach down to. She's going to reach underneath her pillow, actually, yeah. <laughs> um, to where she keeps her rapier. <laughs> All right. Um, and she's going to try and attack the shadow. I thought that was a nat 20 for a second. I got really excited. It's not, but it is a 19. <laughs> a Dirty. 19, that hits. Wait. Okay. Um, do not get sneak attack. Yeah, I know that. Uh, that's seven piercing damage. Seven piercing damage. All right. 
you see that, like, while you seem to have damaged the form in your strike, it not it's not as much as it's a shadow. As a corporeal <laughs> yeah. form. Um, yeah. So seven, so that gets half. Um, the shadow when it's a non-magic. Yeah. All right. So next is Newman. Yeah. Do I have a? I guess I'll be, I guess I can move. Or do yeah. I have any disadvantage You're... to just being woken up? Uh. No. Okay. So, just that you're prone, so you've got to bend half your movement. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I, I'll spend half. Yeah. Before he does that, his his tail, which is currently wrapped around his gear, sort of like the tip of it, sort of like just sneaks into his gear and pulls out one of these rapiers, <laughs> and then he gives his hand, and then he grabs his other rapier. Is that because dual with two weapons you can do that? Yeah. Are you dual wielding yeah. but with the tail instead <laughs> of a hand? Are you going to eventually like just Rorano Azaro? <laughs> 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 this, this hand, hand, tail. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's it, like his tail would be the off. Hand, it's yeah. not on his. Hand. We we could probably homebrew a feat. <laughs> If, oh my you, God. if you wanted to go down that path. Oh my God. I, I like that. I like that. Anyways, um, he's going to yeah, no, slash at this thing. Um, all right. Yeah, no, we'll just do that. He he doesn't like this. <laughs> <laughs> he's got woken up for a battle and he had such a good dream. So are you standing oh. up? Uh, yes, he will stand up. Okay. Can I stand up on top of the bed? I feel like I feel like that's yeah, that's more comfortable. And he is he feels more dominant because he's higher. Even though the height of the shadow is still reaching, over he here. likes to <laughs> be it gives tall. Him a confidence boost. Alrighty, uh, so one slash with my left hand and one slash with my tail. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wrong, wrong me a, wrong me, just wrong me the d twenty first as a non attack roll. I should have determined what I was, which way was which first. Um, so roll it again. Uh, one to ten is representing the hand. One, one, uh, eleven to twenty is representing. The hand. Okay, so it's the hand one. Okay. All right. So now make your attacks. Oh, something's gonna happen to the hand. Okay. All right. So uh, his first attack to hit is a natural nineteen. Whoa, oh, yeah, that, nice that one. Hit handily. All right. Uh, so. Don't get your sneak attack. I know, but there, there was something else. Uh, Max damage. Okay. And how much is that? Ah! Yeah, that counts. Um, also, 10 is this one. All right. You notice that... Um, because you, you kind of, as, as you were still lying down, you saw that Anya's rapier didn't do much to yeah. the, the shadow. It just doesn't also, you notice that as your, the rapier in your hand goes through, the, there's a weird glint of, it goes through it. It glint, as yeah. if there was something inside of it? As if there was something to it that you're unaware of. Um, and all the damage. So, what, was, what was the maximum damage? Oh, was, what was the damage you did again? It was only 10 damage. 10 10. Alright. So, yeah. What? I wish I knew enough about D&D to know exactly what this was. <laughs> Same, though. But I'm intrigued. No, I'm just, I'm just really thinking. Alright. Right. Oh, wow. We, we, we need that. <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't know, I want to get crib. So, I haven't used my bonus action. I was no. wanting to use my tail. I, I sort of already have said that I wanted to bonus action. That can attack, but can I, can I stop that? And does this, does this room have a source of light? Like, is it like, is it obviously not a light switch. It's 4 like am Candles on the wall. There's a little bit of like pre-dawn light peeking in through the window. Um, but other than that, Uh, Bertie on deck. Yeah. 
Um, all right. Is there any way I can bring out a torch? Uh, that would be an action. Okay, no, I'll just use my bonus action to attack this guy with my tail. All right. Get a slash. That's a natural 17. So. All right, that'll hit. Right. Uh, Please don't sue us, Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> That's just eight damage, Biz. How much? Oh, yeah, it's eight. a right it's here. Right so, here. You, so you max. I max. max but right. without my preference. Yeah. So that one is gone. Hooray! Did Excellent! It, that's it awesome! In particular, because before I saw the... Actually, yeah, no, that's that's the other rape here, so no, that's not enough. Take it out. Ah! Uh, <laughs> good clue, so though. So this, this rape, rape here, here. Yeah, does does um, seem to have, have the lesson effect that I'm using. Lesson effect. Lesson effect. Lesson Alright, Bertie. Cool. Um, I have a quick question for the my D D D and D So, um, I've just been looking it up. Can I cast two spells, one cantrip, and one bonus action? Yes. Yes. Cool. Okay. Just that's in the rules, but yeah. Okay. Cool. So I am going to cast to avoid meta gaming. I'm going to do my original thing, which I'm going to do magic missile. Um, at them, yeah. and I'll roll for that in a sec. Um. Yeah. And I also want to bonus action. Uh, shield of faith on myself, if that's yep. possible. Yeah. Cool. Yep. So you are concentrate. Um, and I'll roll for magic missile. Yep. Uh, 18 to hit. Uh, 18 will hit. Yeah, cool. Magic missile. Isn't this great? Okay. <laughs> this is fun. Um, You're fifth level now. So this is... Yeah. You get you get two you get magic two. missiles. Yeah. So you roll separately for each one. If you're tuning into the video stream, you'll have caught me uh, three times now making quotation marks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's Magic Missile. I don't know what you guys are doing. Four times. Oh, my gosh. Okay, hang on. Sorry. What are, what are your invocations? You, you have invocations. something that adds you. I do, I do have bonuses too. I just... Hang on. I'll just get my old... Because it's, it's 1d10, but if yeah, you've got 1D10, Agonizing I Blast, else I do. <laughs> yeah, you do have Agonizing Blast? Ag so yeah, I do have plus, Agonizing Blast for Magic Missile. Yeah, so to be plus your Charisma. Yeah, plus my Charisma. Okay, I mean, cool. No, I'm not clever yeah. enough to figure yeah. it out, yeah, so yeah, yeah. a lot of listeners, listeners won't be. The listeners have known for ages. They've worked it out. Not necessarily. Y'all could be as dumb as me. So yeah, so it's one d10 plus three, I believe your charisma is. Or is your what's your charisma? Three or four? Uh, my charisma is three. So three. Um, Thirteen. Nice. Um, and you get a second attack. I do. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Of yeah. course. All right, guys. So uh, seven. Seven to hit. Oh, sorry. It's too cold. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's nat 20. Nat 20. Great. So, so 13 plus the D10. <laughs> Two. Two. 13 15. plus 2. Still that's enough. Fine. Excellent. That's great. Was there any similar effect? Um, no, the effect is to your rapier. It wasn't yeah. the shadow of your rapier. Yeah. No, the like, the thing is to uh, roll, roll me either an arcana or a religion check. Depending. It's your choice. Uh, my choice. choice. Uh, I'll definitely. Well, while you're doing that, I will roll for the shadow that's attacking okay. you. They're both the same. Right, John. You took you took out the shadow that was going to attack you. Yeah, so. yeah, it's great. He, um, and he kind of like, I guess people are. He kind of just does that on yeah. instinct. He does magic missile. So you you know that 
there are there are some creatures out there that have a certain resilience to mundane attacks. Um, so a magical attack generally would do a lot. Would Never. would typically bypass that unless unless they've got other sort of uh, other resistances. But um, you know that yeah there that. If a creature is res like resistant to mundane types of damage, often an enchanted weapon can um, allow uh, an otherwise mundane weapon to bypass that resistance. I think both are rapiers. As far as you're that's, aware, your rapiers are mundane. That's that's what is hinting at. <laughs> it's, um, it's so the shadow shadow attacking it's you is happening. Game of Dungeons um, and Dragons. Is is a sixteen to hit, which Ah uh, yeah, that yeah. definitely You're you're at like a fifteen. Because you've got Oh uh, yeah, I'm fifteen now, cool. Yeah. Okay. So you take ten points of necrotic damage. And your strength oh. score is reduced okay. by two. Now it is Tanip's go. Tanip. Go, Tanip. Uh, Come on, girl. Tanip, I believe, wakes up. I'll just roll perception. I don't know. I can't remember whether I. Please don't sleep. Yes, she had um, Yeah. No, that was her initiative. Her go, she, really um, well she hadn't broken up yet. And Anya was after her. She did not notice your yelling. Oh, and no. A natural four plus a one. She's sleeping very well. Yeah. Had a busy, oh, she had a busy day yesterday. Yeah. No. Right. Oh, no. Actually, no, she was attacked, so that would Oh, yeah, she was attacked, yeah. yeah. She's going to die. Yeah. All yeah. right, so she uses half her movement to get up. Then she is going to... doesn't really get close to really use crossbow, plus she'd have to wait for it. But does she... Got nothing. Oh no! Uh, oh no! She's got a dagger. <laughs> That's about the extent of it. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, or thirteen? No, uh, no, just uh, pretty much just. Enough. So that's one, two, three. Three, so half to one point of damage she does to the Ooh, Well, it's something. It was nice knowing you, Tana. <laughs> All right. Now it is the shadow that was attacking hers. Go. Um. Oh, she. No, she's not. She's not. No. All right. Uh, shadow attacking her. Uh, 13 plus, I believe her race is long. Yep. So that's gonna do. She's down. Uh, just like passed out or? Uh, just unconscious. Okay, okay, point. that's that's fine. <laughs> She's a key NPC, so she gets to roll death saves. Um, so that Rude. is her strength is sapped by three. Oh boy. Okay. Um, next is Anya's go. And you do have, um, a turn for Hafrin. Okay, um, Hafrin is gonna fly around, uh, so we flank him. Yep. The added bonus to that is it also gets an ally within five feet of the shadow that human is attacking. You're so welcome. you'll both get your sneak attack. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and then she's just going to try and do the same. All right. Roll to hit. Uh, so that's a 19 again. That'll hit. Fantastic. So remember your your 3d6. <gasps> oh, yes. Because you're a level 5. Leveled up. Yay. 
This is a good day. Makes Anya, Anya even more badass. Oh, that was not a good roll. Oh, it could have been. At least it was another D6. Uh, that's 10 plus 3, 13. 13. All right. Again, it, it seems. Yeah. Yeah. Fits. yeah. Decent bit, but yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, Newman. No, the shadow against Anya first is going to attack you. That is a 19 to hit. Uncanny assuming... dodge. All yes. Right, so that's the one that halves the damage? Yeah. Yes. Because there is evasion, which you can use, that you eventually get that's like. You can completely get out of the way I believe once there. Or no, it's it's to do with saves. Doesn't matter, you don't get it for a little bit. So, damage is half anyway. Um for uncanny dodge. So seven, so three points of necrotic damage. Hmm? And your strength score is reduced by three. Does that get halved also? <laughs> I don't believe so. <laughs> I believe it's just the damage. Uh, is it? So oh, it's the score? Let's double check. Yeah, the, score. the score. Yeah, the score, not the modifier. The my score. That's with my, fine. My she my doesn't modifier. rely on strength because this at would all. be this would be incredibly deadly but, if it mean, was. Yeah, I was just gonna say that, but that's not. Yeah. Not um, too. Not too problematic. We're all doing good. Practice. We're checking. Some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Please excuse any technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna deal with this and then deal with checking this and then. Good, you don't cut this bit out anyway. Video when when if you just when tune into the audio podcast, this won't be noticed. You're Gucci. That's okay. it. That's great. Um, I'm trying to dodge. Use your reaction to halve, halve the attack's damage against you. So yeah, it's just the damage that you have. That's fine. Strength is the thing she uses the least. So. However, if your modifier does drop, oh, if your score does drop. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. That's fine. So this, yeah. The dies I bring on who you'll then have to put up with. Yeah. The target <laughs> dies if uh, strength score is reduced. By, by this ability. All right, so, um, Newman. Alrighty, I'm going to step off the bed in a way that I am completely opposite to engage yeah, blanking. Yeah, it's not really, like you don't need to blank in order to get your sneak attack. I'm also going for the advantage. There's not really a spot in that. There's not enough room there. Uh, You're yeah. right up. No, that's a good. I'll just do that then. There's about um, one foot. I forgot which to roll is not enough to really. That's what I'm just trying to trade off some things at the moment. So I am going to do another melee attack. Um, yeah. However, um, I would like to maybe equip put my spring. So is there any way I can maybe like transfer? Uh, it's got to be a reaction. Okay. Like, like to to equip like it's currently in my. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can we can say yeah. You, you pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right, so I've now got my spring shield in my possession, but haven't. Yeah. And I will hit this guy with another attack. So this one is a natural 16, which gets bumped up to a 22. That will hit. Mighty. This is the sword that's in your hand. Yes. Uh, I now have two swords. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the one that was in your dominant hand. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that was a max damage roll. Good. So that was... Plus without you do the sneak technically attack. get your sneak attack. Yes. Yeah, so without the sneak attack, that is 12 damage. And then with the sneak attack... Which is 2d6 That now you. adds up 20. You get 2d6. I roll 2. Okay. 8, 12, that's, 20. That's enough to take that one All out. All right. Now Excellent. for my second attack, can I use movement and get closer to the one next? Um, you're already there. Attack. I'm already there. You're basically just spinning around. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Hardcore. Um, and I don't get sneak attack. But I will whack this guy some special. He and also you've had sneak attack this 
Yes. Round. Or this I'm panel. just doing things. Uh, so I rolled exactly the same as I did the <laughs> other one. It was 16, which gets bumped up to a 22. All right. And this uh, roll for damage. Is uh, six damage. Six damage. All right. Um, so this is... So that's halved. So there we go. Um, Newman is also going to uh, try and sort of turn his attention. Uh, turn its attention to him. He's going to spit on it. <laughs> the spit goes through it and onto the floor. That's all right. Does it react at all? Um, Surely it would be offensive Not much to more than the attack got it to react. Uh. He gets a, a hurty feeling and then he gets a wet feeling. <laughs> uh, it is resistant to both acid and coal, so <laughs> not so much. <laughs> okay. Um, Bertie. Excellent. Um, hmm. Okay, so I am going to, or Bertie, like rather, is going to... Um, Um, I'm going to say he probably has at least a dagger on him. Um, Mm -hmm. so I'm going to try and throw the dagger at the creature. Let's, let's close it to Tanner. Yep. And then I'm going to... Opposed to your magic missile. Yeah. Because the magic missile is all around better for you. Yeah. Oh yeah. True. I was trying to juggle light because I wanted... We've I mean, frozen you've got, again. You've got... Can I just do the same thing I did last time? I'll just... You've got healing word, don't you? Yeah, I do. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, all right. Wrecked on that. Um, I'm gonna. He's going to use magic missile, I guess. Or attempt. That's a 13 to hit. Uh, that will hit. Excellent. Hooray. Oh, uh, cool. So that is a, um, that's a four. Four damage? And uh, so I did Is that adding your charisma? Yeah, that, that, yeah I rolled a one. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, four damage, but it, it happens twice, doesn't it now? Yeah, I'm so you, can, yeah. you get another attack. Oh, yeah. Uh, 17 to hit. That definitely hits. Do I, uh, do I add the charisma modifier as well? This one? Uh, yes, you do. Awesome. Sorry, listeners. That is. That is not. That's. <laughs> it's gone. Yay, yes. Yes. Save. Excellent. And then I'm just gonna just say something in a strange language and heal her. Five. Five health. Nice. Excellent. I want an example of this. I'll, I'll do it next time for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. Definitely so, something like that. <laughs> um, Doesn't sound very normal. Yeah, well, yeah. Tana, Tanip's go. Tanip found yeah, could be skin skin and oh. yeah, uh, she so is good. going to go for a crossbow load at that same time. Hardcore. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, um, Anya. Oh, it, it's my go. Yeah. yeah. Um, Bolt. If it ain't broke. <laughs> but um, is she actually technically flanking with Hafren? I didn't roll advantage last time. Uh, yes. Yeah. Cool. I'll roll advantage this time. Oh, God. Okay. Um, so that would be 17. 17, that'll hit. Yeah. Afrin rolled a great roll of that. Plenty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18. 18. Wow. That even half? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. And that's. Piss off, that's ghosts. That. What oh my God. on heaven and earth was that? I, I have no idea. Did did any? You didn't sense anything, did you? 
Oh, what do you mean by senses? Oh, I mean, you know, it just uh, they kind of just turned up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, weird. we were having a normal conversation and then all of a sudden... <laughs> Yeah, I know. Really rude. Well, anyway, like, let's, oh. uh, let's only think about the, the, the weird shadow people. Um, uh, yeah. I'm too tired for this shit. Tana, Especially with the okay? strength drain. Yeah. Are you okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you okay, Tanup? Bit, bit drained. <laughs> you should get some sleep. Yeah. And see a doctor tomorrow. And, and she falls... Falls back asleep. You, sh- and you I, should I go also back to sleep. finish. Your yeah, because you're also drained. I oh am gosh. wearing my leather armor this time, though. I I equip my leather armor. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and I say, "That's fair enough." <laughs> Don't wake me up again unless it's life or death, like that was. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Fair enough. At the end of the long rest, your strength returns. Now, um, I'll keep you, you, watch in yeah. the room. I don't know what now, Birdie's going to do, but I'll keep watching. You, the room you took a strength time. drain as well, didn't you? Yeah, I did. So you've already completed your long rest. That's fine. Yeah. She, she does your not strength. use her strength. Yeah. <laughs> My strength was already a negative one. Now it's down to it'll be a negative <laughs> two or three. It's probably three. Oh. You, you got your what, what's the score? At uh, six. Six. We're spindly yeah, that's people. A negative <laughs> three. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. She doesn't use her strength. <laughs> Let's hope you don't need, need to climb think anything. Of a single time that she's used her strength. <laughs> the lovely days. Oh, w is right now planning strength based for the um, She's adventure. honestly strength wise my weakest character, which is very funny. <laughs> she's right. like a badass though, so it makes up for it. Um, Bernie would like to just check the room, like case the room to make sure like there's nothing out of the ordinary. Like, is there anything? All right, roll me an investigation <laughs> check. Yep. Front door. I'm trying to make a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, investigation. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a 10. 10. Um, nothing seems to be Can, out of the ordinary. Well, Anya dang. also investigate while she's yeah. keeping watch. Yeah, but we're like, we're like both looking. Yeah. Like those guys just fall asleep, we instantly just start casing them. Oh, what is it? Casing? Uh, yeah. That's a 16. 16. Oh, nice. All right. Um, yeah, nothing. Okay. Interesting. Well. <laughs> did the shadows say anything? Died, or did they leave anything behind? They did not say anything. They left nothing. But disappointment. <laughs> and pain. But mainly just. <laughs> <laughs> I am wondering whether uh, we should ask if anyone else has had uh, unexpected visitors in the night. Yeah, I think that well, that would be definitely worth uh, worth doing. I think uh, yeah. Uh, should should I go and go and have a look, or do you do you want to? I that, think or? that maybe at least one of us should stay with the others, or we could just wait to the same. Yeah, yeah, you're I, right. Or we could just leave them. I mean, they might be capable. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I personally uh, would be... Uh, well, well, <laughs> okay. well, what do you think? I have an idea. Hafrun will stay here. That's a good idea. Keep watch. Yes. And will alert me if anything happens. The only problem is my sight will be hindered. <laughs> so you will have to be my eyes. I would be more if than we happy to. Trouble. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to. Just one moment. I'm gonna, he's gonna like quickly sh- shove on his coat and stuff. Yeah. And he's gonna have. He's gonna take that little book that he has. He's gonna like just really covertly shove that onto that coat. While he's Can I roll a perception check? Because yeah. I still have half room. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As half room is. Right. He's not trying too hard to be sneaky, but he is. <laughs> Twenty-two. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. So you notice this uh, mysterious? Would I notice that it's something I haven't noticed on Birdie yes. before? It's like it looks pretty. Like it's got like really creepy red vein things on it. So yeah. <laughs> so Birdie. it's probably not very normal. Yes. He turns around. He's like, there's petals everywhere. <laughs> do you think perhaps the uh, shadows may have been something to do with? The mysterious new books that you did not have yesterday. 
Oh, you mean the book that I bought yesterday? Well, I don't think so. Maybe I should go talk to that shopkeeper I again. I was with you at the uh, Yeah, yeah, the book. Store? Yeah, that's it. Um, you did not bring that book back let's with go you. Let's investigate the tavern. Bertie, what is that book? <laughs> what book? The book you slid into your coat. Oh, that book. It's just, just you know, it's a book I have. I have not seen that book on you before. Well, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a learned guy. I love books. They're, they're great. Okay, it's at this point <laughs> because Anya is nothing if not <laughs> paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, probably Anya, rightfully so. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, it's valid. Anya draws I'm, her rapier, oh. and she doesn't like. She doesn't attack Bertie, but she, uh, in a threatening way, I guess, uh, presses it, like, somewhat close to his chest. Yeah. (laughs) If you are endangering us, I will kill you, and no one will know about it. (gasps) Noted! It's it's great. Uh, this is a great conversation we're having. I would do nothing. To Keep anything. your secrets for now, but I will kill you. Well, I, I don't doubt that. As, as long as we're clear. Of, of course. I'm sure it will be fine. Don't worry about it. Let's mm-hmm. go on our stroll. Bernie's like incredibly shaken. We're like, oh, this is great. Let, 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 let's all calm down. Let's have a nice stroll. Let's go talk to some people. It'll be great. Okay. It's fine. Just just, uh, just put put that down. Well, just, just a little bit further away from my person. It'll she, be great. Okay. She withdraws it, raises her arms in like a, a sort of like a surrender. Like, you know, when someone's like, all right, we'll play it by your <laughs> rules. It's that sort of yeah. thing. Um, And she's like, okay, we will. Go investigate, but just remember what I said. <laughs> of course. Yeah, absolutely. I- I'll remember that. I have lost way too much to care about my own reputation, Bertie. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> I am so Okay, happy right now. noted. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Anyway, kind of, he very <laughs> sheepishly takes your arm to guide you. But he's like, <laughs> he's very stiff and awkward now. Yeah. <laughs> and he's still got the book tucked away. <laughs> oh boy. That cool. was fun. That was fun. No, that's great. I love it. Oh, that. it was. That's so good. I didn't, yeah. And he's just like, there's petals everywhere. He's just sweating yeah. the whole yeah, time. Just sweating he's petals. being very gentle. He's like the perfect gentleman, like, but yeah, it's super awkward. <laughs> Fantastic. Cool, we're gonna go down. We're gonna check out. Um, I feel like I like me personally as a player. I'm like, I'm sorry. No, no, I, I really love that. Like Betty, but I like that Anya. A lot. Just as like, no, no, I definitely like that. Yeah. A lot. I also, I'm mm-hmm. very curious and interested in her backstory. But yeah, I, but it, even just without knowing the context of the backstory, that's a very valid call to make in the given the situation. But cool, it's good. In regards to the sweating, can birdies and likes to be used? <laughs> it absolutely can. <laughs> um, it may not work immediately, but if you use enough of it, uh, maybe it like work. five bottles. It may work sometime. It may work sometime. <laughs> just just keep trying. I believe in you. Excellent. So um, uh, would, would we go to, um? would we just go check the next room across? Ne- next room or would we go down to the tavern? Uh, I assume they would just play them. It's, is it still 4am? <laughs> yeah, it's 4am, true. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's. It's probably about uh, yeah, conversation. I mean, yeah. Probably about ten past. Mm. Okay. So they're not serving up breakfast yet. Yeah. Wait, kind of um, just creepy around like there's, elf, about... there's elven cryptids like at four a.m. Like our eyes glowing. Can we hear any movement in the other rooms? Can yeah. We roll something. Um. <laughs> press our little ears up against the yeah. wall. Cool. Roll me a perception check. Well, that's okay because I rolled a nat twenty. It's a twenty six. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you go, you go, you go down like you use like an empty bottle to do the whole <laughs> glass. It's the bottle that Bertie drank last night. The, <laughs> it's great. Yeah, glass to the door <laughs> thing. Like maybe you're trying you to be down. extra thorough just to yeah, make sure it. you he, get the like, job yeah. done. He's right. trying to do it. Right. You each go down either end of the him. corridor 
and um, you you don't hear anything of interest. Yeah. Um, Bertie, you you get to one door and oh. and immediately <laughs> lurch back as you hear uh, the the sounds of people are uh, very much enjoying themselves. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I I think there's uh, some kind of action going on there, but uh, not, not the uh, the violent kind, hopefully. Oh, sex? Yes. It's yep. 4 a.m. Some people are impossible. <laughs> Yeah, they must have a lot of stamina. <laughs> I mean, think of your neighbors, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> precisely. Um, Shall we well. try downstairs, see if any of them Yeah, that might be worth it. They might have seen someone like the, the sneak in or apparate in or something. Perhaps. How nice is this establishment? Do they have, like, security? Uh, <laughs> not really. Like, yeah, That's probably good, because otherwise the security would come along and the spot is, like, listening on this door where people are <laughs> getting friendly. The like, only security they have is the barkeep who pulls you up if they notice you're stealing extra breakfast if you're not <laughs> a tenant. <laughs> the- I, I mean, from bits and pieces you've heard, like, the barkeep is a retired adventurer themselves. So. Was the barkeep They're pretty elven? rad. Uh, I think they I'm were. I'm pretty sure they were. Like, so. dark-haired elven? Uh, yeah, true. Half-elf. Half-elf. Oh, half-elf. half-elf. So they, um, the would they be white? Right? Half-elves France as well? I can't remember. No. It's oh. been a while since I've played a half. <laughs> they do not. They trance. sleep like humans. Hmm. What right. is the point? We are very carefully and gingerly going downstairs to check out the tavern. Is anyone up? Uh no, it is a ghost town down here. Oh, it's really creepy. Are there Can any valuables to see around? If there's any sign? Anything like yeah. anyone who's come through that like like anything? Roll roll a perception Wait. check. One of you can do it at advantage if the other wants to aid, What's rather than both percent? rolling. So let's let's yeah. say that. Um, and well, what was it? Perception. Yeah. The plus two. Both mine. Oh. Okay, so. You it's, it's, we'll it's both like, just roll it. Yeah, we'll both. <laughs> Statistically, it's going to be the same thing. Like whoever gets the highest roll. Twenty-five. 25. It's twenty-five for me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's oh not what gosh. I meant when statistically the it's going to be the same roll. Because <laughs> that's like a one in 400 chance. <laughs> that's amazing. We're, li- we're literally just both like sneaking like in sync. Cool. I Are scope you- out one half it's- of the room, you scope out the other. Yeah. Though it's really weird that I'm very good at scoping it out <laughs> yeah, even though I can't, can't see. see. It's, it's, well, it's, I guess it's dark. So like, It's a sad thing yeah. it's wasted because there's nothing uh. here. But like you said, anything, is, any value Is there anything we notice? How long's it been since they vacuumed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please tell us a cool fact that we can find out. Um, you know that 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 um, there's like remnants of a broken string on the stage area. <laughs> oh, oh, didn't go too well. I pick it up <laughs> and put it in my bag for the cat to play with. Oh, that old, aha, a clue. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so a broken string is an uh, indicator of a bad performance. Yes. Yeah, the string broke. Yeah. <laughs> Could have been a it very bad performance. Been a bad time. A broken string can make or break. True. Maybe they were playing an instrument and then these shadow beasts just appeared and shocked them and they broke a string. Maybe they were just so <laughs> into it that they broke a string. <laughs> it's true. Well, that was... Hmm. Hmm. I can't see anything around. I can't see anything around here. No, there is uh, <laughs> nothing that I can find. I think um, you waited until you were halfway across <laughs> the camera before ducking down. You don't look very suspect for the video watchers. <laughs> hmm. G'day there, my name's Newman, and <laughs> I've decided that I'm going to give all of my gold to Onion Birdie. Oh, yes. I, I really appreciate Oh, thank Gee, thanks, Newman. You're so kind. I know I'm just the greatest. <laughs> I don't know where I've written down my gold, though, so I'm just going to assume just uh, gonna that I'm giving a thousand gold each <laughs> <laughs> to Anya and Birdie. So generous! Oh my gosh, I'll put it into a great investment. Thank I think you. I'd be lucky to. You'd be lucky for me to have given you collectively like much more than a thousand so far, like because well, what you're at about four hundred yeah. or so each. Mm, you yeah, know, yeah, around that. Hmm. Roughly, I mean. I don't want to brag, but you know. <laughs> um, hmm. 
Perhaps we should look out on the street, see if there is anyone suspicious. It has not been more than maybe 10 minutes since it can, the can't happening. Hurt. Maybe have it was a wizard. It can't hurt. We'll go and have a look. We go outside and have we a We go have a look. <laughs> All right. Uh, roll me, <laughs> roll me a perception check. Oh, I've a lot about this place. Betting on you because I rolled a one. Ooh. <laughs> I rolled Which an, is seven. I rolled right? an eleven, so we're not doing too well today. Yeah. And a, yeah. just there. an eleven, including your mother. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Hmm. Well, I'm just stumped. You haven't seen you. You haven't seen any of these kind of shadowy creatures before, have I? Um, roll me. Anya thinks back on her check. personal account, kind of backstory. Oh. Seventeen. <laughs> Um, you've never encountered something like this before, but there there are rumors of like a strange kind of undead that mm. is basically like a form of necromancy where the shadow is stripped from the body mm. um, and used as essentially a mindless undead servant. I have not had experiences with them myself, but... Uh, in my travels, some of my companions have uh, encountered uh, undead servants. <laughs> uh, they are like formed from uh, necromancers, form them from undead. They are like the shadow ripped from the body, or that is what I am yeah. not an expert. <laughs> hmm. That's really strange. Well, yeah, I I haven't seen anything like this before. Have um, you pissed off any necromancers recently? Not that I know of. I, did, I mean, I did uh, have a disagreement with a shopkeeper. Hopefully she wasn't a necromancer. <laughs> but she... <laughs> uh, you know, might as well... <laughs> was this the one with the very expensive prices you were telling yeah, me about? Yeah, it was terrible. Yesterday. Like 50 gold pieces for a health potion. Maybe that Water is where we off. investigate first. When shop opens this one. <laughs> well, you know, I, I wouldn't put it past that. Um, hmm, all right. Well, I guess we'd, we'd better go and make sure that everyone's still fi- safe, I guess. Um, interesting. She checks in with Hafren. <laughs> Has anything right. happened? Um, <laughs> yeah, no, you see, you see Tanit and Newman sleeping. There's... They are fine. No, they no disturbance sleeping. in the room. <laughs> Actually... Oh. Oh. What, what are you attempting to do? Alan's gonna try and steal something. Oh no! <laughs> so oh, it'll be a no. stealth first. Yeah. Oh my god. Again, tail wrapped around you. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. So it's gonna oh, be a no. pretty. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, he did it last time. He didn't find anything. What's stealth on the deck? He succeeded on the. But not the investigation. That's a 12. Total? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You are woken up by a bird pecking around in your tail for, like, in the pile of your oh. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? It's new. <laughs> <laughs> for the podcast <laughs> listeners? <laughs> no. Um, it's going to be like. What the hell are you doing? And like gently and carefully, like picks him up <laughs> and puts him back on your bed, <laughs> on his bed, and goes back to bed and like wraps his tail back around his gear, stares at him, like saying like "Don't do that again." And then eventually <laughs> goes back to sleep. <laughs> That's fine. Fair. Okay. That's hmm. fair. Alrighty. Um, I assume we we go back to the room ourselves, or I don't know. We could do anything. <laughs> it's true. Can we Nothing's find somewhere open. that is elven run? Yeah, it's true. That is open for breakfast. <laughs> oh, go get breakfast. <laughs> Whatever you say, it's fine. We'll do that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Your shot, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, I, I don't know about I that. Kid, I kid. It is. Oh, thank God. He, he looks like he looks genuinely worried at the, at the suggestion that he would spend some of his money on you. Cool. Mm. We go and do that. We do that. We get some. <laughs> Is we get there some any open run places? There's got to be. Unless um, it's discrimination. 
There, there is uh, the foolish knave, a, a kind of modest, uh, modest tavern here in the Traveler's Ward that is run by uh, an elven man, um, and and as such, kind of has a little, little bit of an uh, like early start, late finish shirt. So usually opens up around about six. By the time by the time you find it, it's basically start just starting to open up. Okay. Um, Dito. Yeah, breakfast. We go and get yeah. breakfast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we do um, that. We do so, that. We get breakfast until it's time for the others. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you'll go get your uh, complimentary breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, we we had a busy evening, so it's it's fine. So, Plus our um. In is discriminatory. Yeah, right. yeah, Even precisely. Run by by a half elf, yeah. It's not discriminatory. It just well, doesn't. Well, okay. It just expects elves to it's sit around. It's a talent for thumb. adventurers, and a lot of adventurers would be elves, considering elves is a primary race. And they like live. For but such it's a long not time. open for breakfast for elves. Discriminate. You it's don't true. know when it <laughs> is that um, that Azava takes their rest. It could have been during that yeah, latter as... four of the traditional eight. Well, well, true. I What's suppose. the point in that? <laughs> and that's just him not con- them. Sorry, not considering other elves. Yeah, precisely. Something that um, they'll have to petition at right. some point. <laughs> so, um, this is what um, Anya and Bertie are talking yeah, about. Yeah, they're complaining they're about not so, like elf discrimination. It's going to set you back Unintentional uh, five silver each, so total right. of gold for this breakfast. Breakfast. Oh, yeah, that's right. Bertie's shouting. Uh, no, he's not. Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> he would never promise that. <laughs> Please don't even suggest that. <laughs> oh. All right, and yeah, it's a nice, fairly simple breakfast. But awesome. Nice enough. Cool stuff. And we eventually go and rejoin the group, I guess. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, so you meet back for for you guys second breakfast for Tenet <laughs> and Newman first breakfast. Oh. Uh, but Newman, okay, Newman before is, you Newman, go down, Newman is gonna spend a little bit of time after his after he's awoken. Uh, in the room, longer than usual though. Longer than usual. Uh, first off, though, who uh, him and Tanup would wake up at that same time. Yep. He's going to ask Tanup if he has anything pouch-like that he could borrow. Uh, how how big are you talking? Uh, just sort of just like a, a I don't know. I guess like bags. It's not backpack, but bag size. A little bit bigger than a coin purse. Smaller than a backpack. Perhaps maybe a (laughs) potion carrying (laughs) throwing bag. There probably would be one. Or any like material that he can maybe fashion together. Turn into a bag. Like they have like knickknacks and stuff, I'd assume (laughs) Tanner. Turned into something. Um, I mean the great wares. It will be of great benefit to the party. Yeah. Looking also at something good, like this. Good choice to yes, us. and and it, it is about the size of a like it, it's kind of a medium sized sack. That's exactly <laughs> what I want. Thank you, Tana. Like he, he like goes up to him, like sort of like crawling on his knees, going like. Thank you. So if you weren't um, tuned into the video stream <laughs> then, uh, basically what Darby did when uh, he was playing Tanup and said that was just held up nothing. <laughs> I mean, I mean it's looking, implied it, yeah. I know, holding but, up a sack. Oh, so, it's so just you, the image of that happening so is very funny. See, what, where you saw is nothing. I saw is exactly what I wanted. Exactly. Yeah. That's what made and it that even more fun. It's the, it's it the, the magic of a true perfect. sale. It's, it's, it's almost as if she's also an artificer who also has the exact <laughs> item infusion as one of her known infusions. Oh, as excellent. You oh, that God, you're looking at. Oh, I mean, this, this one isn't no currently reason. active as a bag of holding, but... Oh. Well, she wouldn't always be well, with us. Yeah, so I want to make a bag. For yeah, me. now it is. Oh, nice! Nice. That's awesome. Uh, I'm also oh, going to cool. spend a bit of time tinkering with my rapier to make that a magical weapon. 
Okay. It is a rapier plus one. It says I can do multiple infusions at the end of my short rest, but I can only have a maximum of two um, at my current level. Now, do tell I... me, can that does that have awesome. to be a... A simple or martial weapon. Uh, non-magical. Non-magical. Has so... to be non-magical and then becomes magical. Okay. So, um, which which rapier do you try it with first? Learn nothing. The... <laughs> you, so you you'd probably attempt it with your regular main hand weapon first, mm. presumably. And you try as you might. Doesn't seem to take. All right, mm. I try the other one. <laughs> it oh takes God. just fine. Cool. <laughs> what? I don't get this. I don't get this. <laughs> Has something happened that I've forgotten about? Like I know, Not that I know you've the, forgotten I know about the, the glint before. Yeah, but. Is my rapier somehow magical and I didn't know about it? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I know, but, like, I don't understand. Like, Interesting. Tr- You're very bad at picking up on him. No, I, I, I got that, but I just, like... To be honest, I, I didn't get it. I thought that was so... into your rapier isn't quite magical enough. However, you are about to do something which will make it magical is what I was getting at. But no, no, it was, it is magical. <laughs> it is magical. It's bypassing the damage resistance. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> all right. So when did it become magical is what I'm thinking. That's, so has Tanit done anything to my blade before? Nope. Has mm. the old man done it? The old man artificer done it? Nope. Where the hell did I get this blade? Mm. <laughs> uh, Plot yeah, you you haven't used it against anything that has damage resistance before. Exactly. So, so why is uh, one of my rapiers? <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I'm so So you know. haven't had any reason to discover this. Welcome prior to D D. Yeah, this is where you are right. looking it out. very so happy right now. That I have identified uh, <laughs> prepared. I'm going to identify this rapier because I am astounded. So imagine Newman uh, just having an existential crisis right, right. now. As a ritual well, cast. To, uh, right. However, things. he does this by Using his uh, artificed uh, one, he's just going to, like, tap the sword for, like, ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I don't have a card for it because there's not much to it at this point. Yes. But this is an item. Uh, this, this, by identifying this uh, rapier... You identify it as a weapon known as Titania's Needle. That's a... Uh, it's a it is a... Uh, it is an... Uh, somewhat intelligent magic item that communicates through... I means like unknown oh. through this identification spell. I feel like I've unearthed something I wasn't meant to dig up until later. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. And I'm it really is curious. also cursed. Oh. You're attuned to this item. You cannot unattune from it um, without the use of uh, remove curse or similar magic. So Newman knows all this now? Yeah. Uh, so does that mean like I can, put, I can put it, the sword down and things, but I can't unattune? Yeah. yeah. So it takes up one of your attunement slots. That's fine. Um, it currently is just counts as a magical weapon for the purpose of damage reduction. There's no bonuses to it. Currently, mm, which scares me. Very ominous. It's like one day we're gonna fight a sword, you know? Oh, <laughs> I can just yeah. see it. That's fine. Oh. I mean, you know, nothing wrong with weird magical items. It's, it's cool. Coming okay. up out of nowhere. Yeah, that's it. It's Where did it come every from? Day. How did it find us? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. This is what he's saying, by the way, like, to <laughs> <Yeah>. himself, <laughs> as he's tapping the sword. The tanner says, Are you all right? <laughs> I have a cursed sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have a curse <laughs> I didn't even know until now. <laughs> and that's where we're gonna leave it for this <laughs> episode. Thanks guys. <laughs> Alright. <laughs>
We call- sorry for listening. Sorry yeah, for listening. Sorry you had to listen. And this is also before Darby says goodbyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> uh, we call-